What up? Let's learn something. Yeah. Or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeet. No, I'm sorry guys, I apologize for that. Okay, so uh, in this problem, we have it, this is in what's called standard form. You got x, y equals a number, so it's what's called standard form. Hey, what up? Snapchat, how are y'all doing? Um, so we wanna find the slope intercept, we wanna find the slope, the y intercept, and graph it, okay? With the way this was laid out, once we find that slope intercept form, we'll just be able to like point and be like, that's slope, that's y intercept, and then we can graph it, okay? Cool. So let's start it off. Uh, first thing we need to do is know what is slope intercept form. Everybody at the same time, one, two, three. Y equals n of x plus b. That was very um, creepy, kind of. Like the way it was like trance like. Um, I apologize for that, okay? But you did a great job, guys. Thank you for your input. Okay, so y equals n of x plus b, which means that we essentially got to get what by itself? Y. Y. Okay, so to get rid of. We gotta get rid of the three x, and then we gotta get rid of the four. So, get rid of three x, it's positive three x, we would just subtract it from both sides. So, that cancels out, that's four y. And then we've got um, negative three x, that's a positive 12. Why did I put that in the front? You always put the uh, stuff Yeah, because I want it to look like this, and the x part's in the front. And so, that's why I kinda just like pushed it up there. But the thing to be careful about is remember that the negative stays with the 3x and the positive stays with the 12, okay? So that's a common place people mess up. So, the last thing we gotta get rid of is, give you a hint, rhymes with s'more. Four. Four. Four, <laughs> good job. Divide that by four, and we're gonna divide everything over here by four. I go, he go. Goes there, and it goes there. So this one's gonna just stay negative three over four. Why do we keep it as a fraction? 0.75, negative 0.75 is prettier, but we keep it as a fraction because it's, it's a rise over run, it's a slope. We wanna be able to look at it and go, oh, we need to rise negative three and then run four, or rise three, run negative four, so whatever. And then divide that there, 12 divided by four is three. Boom, A, check, done. About to be done with slope. What's our slope? Boom. The M? is in front of the x, that's our slope. Once we put a slope intercept form, we can just look at it and say, there's the slope. There's the y intercept. Done, done. And the last thing to do is graph it. And this is what I feel like, a lot of people can get this process down, but I feel like when it comes to graphing it, it feels more complicated than it actually is, okay? Um, it's pretty, pretty easy steps. I'll just kind of show you how I tell people to do it. Here are my steps to plotting it once it's in this form. One, you would just plot y intercept, okay? Because you only need two points to make a line, correct? Three's better, but two is sufficient. You've already got one right there. We know the y intercept is gonna be where it crosses the y axis. And so that's positive three, and we know our x is zero. So we go over zero, up three. Boom, we're halfway there. If you don't include drawing the line, halfway there. Next thing I need to do is I need to plot one more point on this graph. So you would say pick an X, I guess if you want to make this step 2.5, you would say pick an X, plug in, and find Y. Okay, and then step three would be plot it, okay? So what do you guys want x to be? We can't pick zero, pick zero, because you think, oh, zero would be easy, because then we'll just get rid of that and we can just say it, but we've already done that, okay? So. One. One, all right, that'll work. So my x is gonna be one, I'm gonna find my y. So I'm plugging one in here. And so one times that would be negative three over four, so y equals negative three over four plus three which would be what? 2.25, is that correct? Okay, I feel like y'all are very confident in your response to my thoughts. So that's negative 0.75 plus three, it's a negative, so oh. go 2.25, I think that's right. Um, so it'd be 2.25. Okay, here's, was there a problem with this coordinate that we're about to plot? 
it's not it's kind of close you know what i mean we usually like to plot coordinates that are like especially if we have a graph that are like on like a perfect spot that would have been hard to do unless we picked a number that would have like made this into like a, a whole number um, but we can go ahead and plot this we're going to go over one up 2.25 boom i have a question yes ma'am so i usually just do the rise over one then yeah, yeah that's we could totally do that. Before. Okay, that's great. All right, so that's one way to do it. Or, alternately, after step one, you could just do rise over run. So we had, let's say we had that first coordinate, which you plotted. You do, you guys do plot the y-intercept though, right? To start from. Yeah. And then they just use the slope. So we'd go, it's rise over run, so let's attach the negative to the top. You can attach the top or the bottom. Either way, you're going to be on the same line. So we can go down three, one, two, three, and then over four. One, two, I feel like we messed up four. I feel like my graph's jacked, but let's just pretend like I did it right. No, that's good. And that's what you do. And if I want to touch the other way, I could have, uh, from, that, from that coordinate, I'm not going back to the origin, from the coordinate, I could have attached the negative here and gone up three, back four, and have been right there, which is still on the line, okay? I think that way is probably easier, unless this is like, negative two or something something that would have been easy to plug something in and figure it out then again it still might even be easier just to do rise over run exactly you can just toss that under it and then count so it's whatever you feel most comfortable with but that's very good 10 points to gryffindor good job guys yes yes the end bye